So you've probably seen how AI calling agents like this have been taking over. This is Brock with SolarX. The reason for the call today is to follow up regarding the form you filled out. Have you ever wondered to yourself how you could actually build one of these things out within your business and even implement it into your CRM to call your leads? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you could do that using no code tools. So if you are not a technical person, you're still going to be able to build this out. So you could have this AI call your leads for you, qualify them and actually extract information and store this within your CRM. So you could have super high quality leads. Over the past few months, I've been testing out these different AI voice platforms and building these agents out for me and also for potential clients of my AI automation agency. So I want to actually go ahead now and show you how you could do this for yourself and build these out within your own business. First of all, I want to introduce myself real quick. My name is Brock Messerich. I'm an AI entrepreneur. I started this YouTube channel documenting my journey as I started an AI automation agency about 10 months ago. I'm trying to sell AI solutions to businesses like these AI voice calling agents and I'm documenting the whole process out in the open and building for the public to see. So if you're interested in that sort of content, you want to be educated on AI and also see the behind the scenes of how an AI agency is run. This channel is going to be perfect for you. So make sure to like this video and to subscribe to the YouTube channel. All right. So with all that out of the way, let's dive into this. So what is it that I'm going to be building out here? So I'm going to be building out an AI calling agent that is actually integrated within my CRM. So you're going to see me building this out on my AI calling platform and then taking that and actually integrating it to my CRM using APIs and web hooks and all of that technical stuff. So that is kind of what we're going to be going over in this video. So by the end of this video, you're going to see how you could build out an agent and then deploy it to your CRM. All right. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to be building this out with the AI calling platform Synthflow. I've talked about this in a previous video. I've built stuff out with them before. Um, I really like this platform. It's really simple to use. So that is exactly what we're going to be using to build this out when it comes to the infrastructure for the AI voice assistant. So if you want to sign up for Synthflow and build this out, I have a link below in the description as well as the comments for you to join. As for the CRM, we're going to be building this out. We're going to be building this out with Vendasta. So this is a CRM I'm going to be using personally. It's kind of like go high level. It's really cool. There's some amazing automations we could do inside of it. So that is the CRM we're going to be using as well for this project. The last tool we're going to be using to build this out is we're going to be using Zapier to actually connect the two. So we're going to use Zapier to connect Synthflow to our CRM, which is Vendasta. All right, so let's go over this flow here of how we actually are going to have this AI agent kind of interact. So if you come here, you could see that the goal of this is to create an AI voice agent for our solar installation company, SolarX. So essentially, this is going to be built for a solar company, as you can see here. And we want to ask some qualifying questions like what is the size of their property? Why do they want to add solar to their home? How soon do they want this installed? just basic qualifying questions like this to see engage the interest of our leads and so from there what that's going to do is that's going to send a trigger and the trigger is going to be actually when a new lead fills out a contact form so we're going to build out a contact form within our crm which is going to be built on vendasta um, so we're going to go through that Next, we are sent down our Vendasta automation. So the automation within our CRM. So the trigger for this is going to be a new account created from that, that contact form. And then that's going to send a webhook containing any of the required information there. And then next, we move on to our Zapier automation. The trigger is going to be kept to uh, catch that webhook from the Vendasta automation. Then it's going to be sent down this workflow, the next action is going to be start an AI call. Then after the call, it's going to move to the next action, which is get call information, and then move to the final action, which is to update the CRM contact information with the call information and the qualifying questions that were asked and captured on the conversation. So first of all, let's go ahead and build out this form with inside of our CRM. So I'm here inside of Vendasta. Um, I signed into my account, which is going to be the CRM that I'm going to be using for this example here. So let's go ahead. Let's click create a form. We come to market or first of all, come to marketing and then click forms. Click create form, form name. Let's call this Solar X contact form. All right, so create that. And let's drag and drop these different fields here that we want. So let's have a first name. Let's do last name. Let's do a phone number. And let's do email. Okay, so now we have all of these. Let's go ahead and let's save that. So the next thing we want to do is we want to come to our synth flow. If you don't have a synth flow account already, make sure you could sign up below. Within the description, there's a link there for you to sign up. But I'm here inside of my dashboard. So what we want to do is we want to come over to assistance. Then we want to create an assistant. And for this use case, it's going to be an outbound assistant. So, all right, now let's name this thing. So let's call this Solar X 
AI caller. And obviously there's a bunch of different voices we could play around with. For this use case, I actually have cloned my voice, so I'm gonna use this. So let's play around with this custom greeting. So hey there, this is Brock with Solar X. So this custom greeting is what obviously the AI is gonna say. Um, so hey there, this is Brock with Solar X. The reason pretty is now a good time to chat. All right, there we go. So now let's test this out and see what it sounds like actually. Um, first of all, we need to change this, select that. Okay, let's play with it. Hey there, this is Brock with SolarX. The reason for the call today is to follow up regarding the form you filled out about implementing solar into your property. Is now a good time to chat? If you are a business owner and you want to integrate AI or specifically one of these AI calling agent systems into your existing business, make sure to book a discovery call below with my agency. We have built out countless of these things with different use cases. So if you want to take advantage of this new AI technology and instead of just watching from the sidelines and actually deep dive into this to help automate your processes, make sure to book a call below to work with my agency. Okay, perfect. So now we have that set. Um, obviously, we could change the response latency. So do we want it to, do we want there to be a big gap between when we speak and when they speak? Usually, I mean, obviously, we want this thing to be as quick as possible. So have this patience level as low. AI model we're going to be using is a Synthflow LLM. Language USA, we could change this to a few different languages. Okay, so now let's move on to the next step here. And this is where we're actually going to write out our prompt and set up our custom actions. Um, which we'll be using the info extractor actions to save this information and then send this information to our CRM. So let's go ahead now and let's play with this create my own prompt tool here. So what this prompt copilot does is we could essentially use AI to build the prompt for us. So we don't necessarily need to be a super technical prompt engineer. We could just use this and leverage this technology to help us. So, all right, so absolutely. I'd love to be your assistant for crafting an effective voice prompt for your AI assistant. So what are some common objectives? Okay, so let's say you are a sales assistant for a solar company called Solar X. Your job is to call leads that recently filled out a contact form kind and professional way. All right, so now this is gonna cook something up for us. So let's go ahead and wait here for it to give us a response. Great, so now let's spit out this prompt here. Let's go ahead and read through this a bit. So great, it sounds like we're working on an outbound call script for SolarX with the primary objectives of qualifying leads that showed interest in solar solutions through a Facebook ad. Let's lay out the foundation. Great, okay, so it even gave our AI assistant a name. His name is Alex. And the objective is to engage leads from the Facebook ads to, by understanding their interest in solar solutions, gathering key information to qualify them and setting up a detailed consultation with a solar expert. So that all sounds amazing. So let's go ahead and say, move forward with that prompt. So that's cool that we could utilize AI to kind of build the prompt for us. It seems like we're totally uh, removing this step for human interaction even. I mean, it's pretty crazy with how far AI has gone so far. So let's give this a second to finish this up. Great, okay. Boom, let's insert this prompt. So now we have this prompt that we use during the, using the prompt generator. Here we go. That's all good and ready to go. Let's go ahead and actually test this thing out now. So actually, before we test this out, we need to set up a few more things. So we need to actually come to this action here, the info extractor action, and we need to add some questions. What this thing essentially does, if you haven't seen my previous videos on this, it essentially takes these different questions and extracts that information. It'll store it with inside of SynthFlow and we could send those via webhook to um, our CRM, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna send that, those qualifying question answers to Vendasta, which is our CRM. So we need to set this up. First of all, let's come here and look at some of the questions that that, that we're asking. So let's take a look at the prompt. So, all right, so understand the lead's reason for considering solar. So this will be the first one here. So open question, reason for implementing solar. So what are you looking to find out? What is the reason that the user is looking to implement solar? So let's say, well, so we need to give a few examples of different outputs that somebody would give. So help save the environment 
All right, so let's create those. So now we have one of these set up and let's go ahead and do that for a few of the other things. So solar inquiry on solar motivations. So property suitability, gather information about the property type, location. All right, so let's do property type. So we could do this for any of these different questions that you wanna ask for any of your use cases. For this, it's obviously for solar. So we have specific exa examples we're gonna use. But so what is the user's property type? 2,000 square foot house, two acres land. There we go. Budget and financing discussions. So approach budget considerations while outlining financing options. So budget, what is the user's so let's just say $10,000, $25,000, and then let's say I would need to finance. All right, there we go. So now that we have those set up, let's go ahead and actually test this out. With that being said, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Meet Vandasta, the all-in-one software platform for agencies. With Vandasta, you are equipped with all the tools you need to market, sell, bill, and fulfill services for your clients. Give your clients a white label app filled with essential solutions every business need, including a CRM, social media management, local SEO, and reputation management. Meanwhile, their automated reporting tools give them peace of mind about their return on investment while your agency bills them a subscription that gets deposited to your bank account. My favorite feature is their extensive marketplace to build tailored packages for your clients featuring best of breed products from companies like Google and Meta. So if you are an agency owner and you are looking for different ways to provide different solutions to your clients, maybe even Dasta is exactly what you're looking for. Look at the link in the description to join for a 14 day free trial with Vandasta. All right, so let's actually speak with this demo now and see this different information that's extracted. So let me add my number here. Here we go. And I should receive a phone call here in a second. Hey there, this is Brock with SolarX. The reason for the call today is to follow up regarding the form you filled out about implementing solar into your property. Is now a good time to chat? Yeah, I suppose now is fine. Great, I appreciate you taking the time. To start, could you tell me a bit more about what prompted your interest in solar energy for your property? Yeah, I wanted to cut down expenses because my power bills quite a lot. And then also, um, I'm looking to sell my house in about two years, and I think it might increase the property value. That makes a lot of sense. Reducing energy costs and increasing property value are two significant benefits of installing solar panels. Have you had any previous experience with solar energy, or would this be your first time considering it for your property? Uh, this would be the first time. That's exciting. Starting with solar energy can be a big step, but it's definitely rewarding. Since this is your first time, I can help guide you through the process and answer any questions you might have. To tailor our discussion, could you tell me about the size of your property or how much power you typically use? This will help us determine the best solar solution for your needs. Yeah, so I live on about one acre. Uh, my house is about 1,500 square feet. I don't know exactly how much power I use, but my power bill monthly is about $500 currently. Thank you for sharing that information. With a monthly power bill of around $500, it sounds like you could significantly benefit from solar energy to reduce those costs. Given the size of your property and house, there's likely good potential for an effective solar installation. Next, we can look into how much sunlight your area typically receives and discuss possible solar panel setups that would meet your energy needs. Would you like to proceed with some preliminary options based on this information? Um, no, okay, that's, thank you though. All right, so we don't need to go through that full phone call. Um, but now what we want to do is we want to actually see the different actions um, that were extracted. So let's go ahead and refresh this. Let's go to logs, test, and then it looks like this. So there are three actions. So it looks like the reason for implementing solar, if you come down here to return value you can see lower my power bill and increase property value so that is what my response was it captured that response um, if you come here property type um, the return value is one acre land 1500 square foot house um, that's cool great that it could capture this information and then 
um, the budget here. So um, we actually didn't get to that within the call because it was asking other questions. But when I, if I were to respond with my budget, it would have captured that information as well. So you can see these are now custom variables here that we could then send to our CRM. And I'm going to show you how to do that um, with inside of Vendasta. So we could actually store this information um, within this contact uh, within our CRM. So all of these different leads, once we contact all of these leads via this AI caller, extract this information, store that information in our CRM. So now we have it all structured. So either us or our salespeople could, you know, see that these leads are actually qualified. So now what we need to do is we need to come into our CRM. So we're inside of Vendasta here and we need to come to our automation. So we'll come to my automations, create an automation. We're going to come to blank. Um, so when a new company is created, so that is when that form that we created gets filled out. Whenever that gets filled out, then um, this is a trigger because a new company is technically created when the form's filled out. So we're gonna come here, company name. We're gonna put a phone number as well. So let's save that. Next, what we wanna do is we wanna make an action and that is to send a webhook and make sure that is post. And what we wanna do is we wanna come over to our Zapier and let's call this Vendasta Workflow. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to set the trigger. Um, it's gonna to be to catch, catch a webhook. Oh wait, let's see. All right, so we're gonna make do webhook, choose an event, we're going to catch a webhook, click continue click continue and then we want to copy and paste this webhook URL here and go back to our Vendasta paste that there and what we want to do is we want to come to these query parameters and we want to add a couple things so we're gonna um, say company name come to value what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from previous step trigger and then company ID and company name so add that there and then we also want to do the same thing for the phone number so phone number from previous step trigger company ID and then come down to phone number add that there and then we could go ahead and save this all right, so one other, one other parameter we actually need to add with inside of this um, workflow inside of Indasta, we have to come in here, come back to the webhook, go to query parameters. And what we need to do is we need to add a field. We'll add this as ID and then come to insert dynamic content here. What we're gonna do is go from previous step, click trigger, company ID. <clears throat> and then from this, what we wanna find, we wanna come down and click ID, go ahead and add that there. And so, what this is gonna do now is this is going to then give this a field. Um, so when we take this information from the call, we could then send it back to this ID with inside of Indasta. So if we come to our, um, our contacts, then if we come to these different companies, we will then be able to see um, you know, the updated information from, from you know, basically uh, that workflow. All right, let's actually go ahead and now set up this automation in Zapier. So first what we wanna do, we wanna to come to Formatter by Zapier. And what this is gonna do, this is gonna take the phone number that is captured on that form with inside of Vendasta and format it correctly so we could actually utilize that uh, input and you know, trigger the call. So phone number, come to numbers, we come to format phone number, input. So we wanna click on the query string phone number that we have from that first webhook. Two, and then we want to add this format here. So for us, we're in the US, we want that plus one. Otherwise, if we do not have that plus one, it's not gonna trigger the phone call. So make sure you have that set up. So now the output, boom, that's all working when I test it out. Let's move on. So we go to Synthflow, Synthflow AI. And we want to make the event, make a phone call. Choose, come to your Synthflow account. Make sure you have one set up. If you don't have a Synthflow account, sign up. There's a link below to sign up with my affiliate link. So what we, what we need to do now is we need to get the model ID of our assistant we're gonna use. So come into your assistant, go to deployment, and then copy the model ID number here. Paste that there so that way it triggers this exact one. 
So we want to come here, go to numbers and formatter, click the correct output there, name, come to catch a webhook, throw that in. That's the, the name that we captured, lead email, we don't have a lead email. Okay, great, so now let's test this. This all should work. We should be receiving a phone call um, that this works smoothly. Boom, there we go, a call was sent. If you could see here on my desktop, a call is currently being initiated. Um, so let's go ahead and move on. All right guys, so what we need to do now is we actually need to go ahead and set up um, a few more things with inside of this automation. So the next step here, after having that make phone call in uh, Synthflow, for step three, we need to go to step four. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a delay. So the problem with this, I was actually running into a problem with this. It took me a while to figure out what it was, but um, I had this whole automation built out and for whatever reason it would hit a, an error going from three to step four um, in order to get that phone call transcript. And the reason for that is we need to add a delay so that way this right here, step three, um, once that finishes, there is a time delay for the phone call actually to finish. And then from there, um, what we need to do is, um, you know, then add our automation on the back end of that um, after the delay. So we need to let that phone call end and then we get, we'll go and pull the information. So for this, um, for this use case, just to test this out, we could just add like a two minute delay. So that way when we test the phone call, it gives us two minutes, finish the call, then it will then go ahead and pull that information. So delay four is what we're gonna choose, action. Um, let's just say two minutes here and then time delay for the unit. Just click minutes, continue. We don't even need to test that. So we'll just move on. All right. So now that that step is set up, let's go ahead and go back to Synthflow. Here we go. Choose event. Instead of make phone call, we actually want to go ahead and use get phone call. So click it, click that one. Again, obviously make sure we have our phone call set up. And for this, we want to go ahead and use the phone call ID. So response ID, boom, there we go. Let's test this step, see if there's information that we could already pull. So it pulled that information from a previous, um, from a previous call. We have the transcript there. So that is all good to go. Now what we need to do, we need to move on. Um, let's see. Yeah, so we need to move on. And next step is going to be ChatGPT. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take that transcript and from that transcript, we're then going to summarize it with ChatGPT. Um, and then we'll do some more information with that. But first of all, let's go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead. First thing we're gonna do is let's find summarize text. There we go, continue, continue. Text to be summarized. We want to go ahead, come here, um, get phone call and then look for the call transcript. So there's a call transcript. Um, there we go. Continue, test this out. So then we could see, um, let's see, test step. Sending a summary to ChatGPT. Okay, so if you could see here is, right here is the call transcript right there. Here we go. And then the summary of that transcript is this. So Brock from SolarX called to follow up on a solar form. User interested in saving energy costs, spending $200 monthly. Brock discussed potential savings and home ownership. So there we go. That is all done. Uh, let's go ahead and back out of this. And all right, in order for us to uh, actually go ahead and test this out, what we need to do, we need to come into our Vendasta account. We need to go to our, let's see, we need to go to marketing. We need to click on our forms. So obviously this whole trigger, this whole automation starts with once this form is filled out. So we could input this form on a website. We could put this on a Facebook page, all those different things. We need to come to copy um, the embedded code here, test it into this like HTML tester. Uh, again, this will just be set on a website or something. We will have this form. When somebody fills this out, then this phone call will be triggered. So let's test this out. Let's say Brock. Um, whatever, let's just use a random one of these uh, for an example, phone number. We're gonna wanna throw in our phone number there, throw in an email. Let's just call this testing at gmail.com. First name will be Brock, last name test. 
And now let's go ahead and test this out, submit it, and we should be receiving a phone call here any second. So let's just wait for this. The reason for the call today is to follow up regarding the form you filled out about implementing solar into your property. Is now a good time to chat? Yeah, I guess now is a fine time. Great. So what got you interested in solar energy? Are you looking to save on energy costs or is it more about reducing your carbon footprint? Um, you know, honestly, I'd like to say both, but really I just want to save money. My bill is so high now and I want to lower that bill. Totally get that. High energy bills can be a pain. Solar can definitely help with that by cutting down your electricity costs significantly. How much are you currently spending on your monthly energy bill? Yeah, right now I think I'm spending like $255 or something a month. Wow, that's quite a bit. With solar, you can see a significant reduction in that amount. Do you know if your roof gets a lot of sunlight during the day? Yeah, it gets a ton of sunlight. Uh, my, I have a very flat roof, uh, so that's why I think solar might be good. Perfect. A flat roof with plenty of sunlight is ideal for solar panels. How about we set up a detailed consultation with one of our specialists to create a personalized plan for you? When would be a good time for that? Actually, I have one more question. Is that okay? Of course. What's on your mind? Yeah, so I wanted to know, what's your value proposition? Why, I mean, like, why should I go with you as opposed to somebody else on the market? Great question. SolarX offers state-of-the-art solar technology that not only reduces your energy cost, but also comes with robust support and maintenance. We ensure a hassle-free switch to solar energy, plus we have excellent customer service. Does that sound like what you're looking for? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so that call was good. That actually sounded really good. The voice assistant we set up is performing pretty well. Obviously, it's my voice cloned. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to um, go ahead and let's just check to see if this zap ran. Boom, here we go. It looks like it ran. And now let's come inside of our Vendasta. Let's check our accounts. Oh, wait, no, we'll come to our contacts. Come to companies. So here we go. Brock R. Michael, that was what I used. And then as you can see here, this is the note that was left. This is a summary from ChatGPT that was pulled from Synflow and then sent to Vendasta. So Brock from SolarX follows up on the user's interest in adding solar energy to their property to reduce high energy bills. The user is spending $255 monthly and receives plenty of sunlight on a flat roof. Uh, making it ideal for solar panels, SolarX offers advanced technology and support aiming to lower energy costs with top-notch customer service. There we have it. This thing is working smoothly. Um, it's set up with inside of our Vendasta. Whenever somebody fills out this form that we put on a website, it then calls these leads and qualifies them, extracts this information on the call, um, and then creates a summary here. So that is all set up. That is fantastic. Uh, yeah, that's I'm glad we could do that. All right, guys, there we have it. We've actually built out an AI caller, added custom actions to extract information on the call, and then actually store this information inside of our CRM. So this is something that you could do for your business. If this is something that you want me to help you build out, me and my agency have built out countless of these different systems customized for our clients of our agency. So make sure to book a call below. There's a link to speak with us. Also, if you want to join Synflow or Vendasta, the two different softwares we used with inside this video, there's a link for both of those. Uh, make sure to sign up with those. They're both amazing platforms. But yeah, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to subscribe for more AI voice related content like this. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for following along and I'll see you guys in the next video.